we are now at the supercharger in uh, we're outside the Grimen and we'll do another run today uh, I just woke up yeah, okay and today we will try 262 kilometers per hour yes uh, we have the spoiler on so let's get cracking so um, wait, can I go out here yeah I think I go out here so after the spoiler has been attached, then uh, Tesla will unlock uh, the maximum speed for this Model 3 performance, which is, uh, let me see, actually, let, let me just blink. I'm gonna blink left in the roundabout. Yeah, just for you. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm blinking left in the roundabout. And then all the Germans, they'll be like, nine, you shall not blink left in the roundabout. Well, you guess what? By doing that, you increase the efficiency of the roundabout. If you understand how roundabouts work, you will also blink left. Yeah. <clears throat> Check one. Go go. So um, hmm, where should we go today? Uh, let's go over here. So this place is unrestricted, uh, but it's uh, Sunday, 11:13. So oh shit, that's light though. Uh, problem with uh, some lighting here. Um, Let's see if I can adjust it. Okay, that's slightly better. Okay, okay, yeah. But, um, <coughs> I don't, oh, I have almost no region. Uh, charge with 99% or 98 now. So I will just drive around and uh, show you guys uh, how it is. And maybe we can hit 260. I'm not sure because there is some traffic midday. Uh, ideally, you want to do this at night, so. It's, uh, but again, the problem at night is that uh, there are animals out there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we'll see. Okay. Wow, you have some fast people over there. Okay, you want to chase them? Let's chase them. Okay, let's go. There was, some, there was some Audi there, okay. Let's see if we can catch them. Yeah, they are driving fast here, so that's nice. Yeah, I kind of like it. Oh, the shake! No! Okay, that's weird, you see, the shake disappears and then, so at certain speeds, it will just shake like crazy. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure what I can do with that, <laughs> you see, so when I'm cruising 170, then this is fine and the car is not really shaking, it's, it's triggering something, you know, uh, some resonance. Uh, frequency in the wheels or in the in the front windscreen because I have the camera attached to the front windscreen so yeah okay and you see what I what I said about not being able to reach 260 because because of the traffic but we can we can try but it's just that I don't trust people um, you know they, they can suddenly just pull in pull in ahead of you and they they don't really know that you're doing 250 you know because most people, as you see here, they're cruising at about 150 or something. Yeah. So uh, you see there over there, I won't, uh, don't want to try to hammer it. But you see that the, the camera is pretty stable at 180 kilometers per hour. So the Nokian tires, they did a great job of balancing their tire, but it's really hard to balance it for every speed, especially 200, 250. So I'm not sure what to do about that problem. Uh, like I mentioned, it's not that, I mean, I don't feel the vibrations when I'm driving the car. It's just that the front windscreen ticks some kind of vibra vibration and then you see it in the camera. It's way more visible in the camera. I mean, what you see there is not the same thing I see, you know. My, my head is, is dampened from the neck and all that. And also, um, yeah, okay, let's just stop talking about it. Let's try to hit 260. But another thing I should tell you guys is that most people you see here, they don't cruise at 250, you know? And the range at these speeds in a Tesla is really good. Uh, you can drive very far, uh, about 300 kilometers uh, if you cruise at speeds like this uh, on a nice summer day like today. It's just that some people, they want to drive fast, then they have to take the penalty. But guess what? Fossil cars also consume a lot of dinosaur juice when they hammer fast. Yeah. The, the, and also, 
this is not just some regular Tesla. It's it's the performance version. So it's thirstier, it's more expensive, but it's fast. So you have to compare with a, maybe an RS7, okay, or at least at least something beefier than just a, a BMW 525. Oh, 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 I'm not paying attention. Oh, Sunday drivers. Oh, let me use friction brake here. Oh, you see? Should we try 260? Mm, not sure about that one. Uh -huh. Wow, look at that. Wind turbines. Yeah, so this is just a nice Sunday stroll for me. You guys are eating popcorn. And then, boom! Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, the shake, come on, come on, go shake, shake, shake it, shake it. Oh yeah, oh, ho, 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 Okay, I will just stay on the left lane, yeah. Stay on the left lane. Achtung, Achtung, ich komme, ich komme. Okay, let's go for 260. Come on, 250. 254, 55, 6, shake, shake. I would just stay on the left lane. There, 262, 262. Whoa, people on the left lane. Regen, 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 regen. I will come, oh, I come fast. Schnell, schnell, I come fast from behind, man, dude. Oh. Nine, nine. Look, I've been regening for a long time. And that guy is almost standing still compared to me. And he's actually doing about 150, but still. Yeah. But he doesn't realize that I want to go faster than him. Way faster than him. Okay, so let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. Look at the Germans. They actually stay on the right lane. Yeah. Unlike Americans. Americans would be camping on the left lane. <laughs> oh, did I go 250 just now? Yeah, let's do it again. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we have a little bit of power limit now. Okay. Oh, the bug's flat. The bug's flat. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Brake hard, brake hard. I have performance brakes. Oh, which is really good. Yeah, I need performance brakes now. Okay, he wasn't that uh, slow, but still, whoa, what the heck? This guy must be an American who moved to Germany. Why, well, who's doing 180, so you can't really blame him. Well, it's just, oh, no, oh, well, okay, now you could have moved. Scheiße! <laughs> okay, anyway. Yes, so, um, uh, but uh, what should I say? That uh, yes, I burn a little bit of energy here, <laughs> but you know what? It doesn't matter because the energy for charging up a Tesla is so dirt cheap. It depends on the, what country, but usually it will cost about one third to one fourth. Let's say 25% to 33% of the fuel price. Hey, you want to move over, dude? Huh, Mr. Volkswagen boy You see this is the problem. I have a Tesla Model 3. It looks like a duck Yeah in his mirror. It looks like there's a duck following him, but You know that duck is a very fast duck. Yes <laughs> You see this? they don't know I mean I need the roadster. Yeah, need the roadster then they will get out of the way Yeah, okay. Come on. How about you move over? No, no, don't want to move over Yeah, okay, okay, no, 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 we can move over. You see, the problem is that they won't move over unless I tailgate them. Well, I mean, I, you shouldn't flash at them either, so... Like, how do you deal with this? Okay, Germans, if you see Teslas, they are schnell, proper schnell. Yes, so just get out of the way. Danke schön. Yes, yes, you see, you see. Okay, let's do it again. Let's try 250. Okay, I just want to move over here. Careful, careful. Don't take any jerky movements here. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Regen, regen, regen. This is like the ultimate stress test. Oh, yes. Finally, we get proper speeds. Not that 233 kilometers per hour. That is for babies. No, no, no. We want 250, 260. Whoa, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some dude overtaking a guy with a trailer. Oh, you have to look far. Far in the front there, yeah. Oh, it's not very windy today here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I spent twenty percent of the battery. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, let's uh, let's go to the Ionity charger then. Let me see. Well, I think we just keep hammering. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go some more. Because as long as I have juice, then I give you guys the entertainment. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's go. Wait. Uh, 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 let me see. Let me see. Uh, okay. 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 Right. 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 Okay. This road here has so smooth ass fault yeah look at this oh man how the heck what what this road i didn't know it existed it's it's so awesome so little traffic okay little some traffic now but in the evening oh 120 so oh region 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 oh i can get the police side of the now. oh scheisse, scheisse. actually the police side uh the police side was checking on me well i mean not 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 checking on me like that but uh i slept over at, at uh, Rast, ratzplatz yeah i think that's how you pronounce it um and then they were checking um uh, they wanted to see my uh, passport uh the the vehicle documentation and uh what's the last one yeah and the driver's license yeah so uh, i was like ah, what was what wrong did that and i think just routine okay so they probably registered my name my passport information, the driver's license. So now, if I do something wrong, they will find me and they will hunt me down. Whoa, oh, shit, okay. Yeah, I should have blinked earlier there. Yeah, you have to be, in Deutschland, if you want to drive schnell, you have to, you have to be more aggressive. You have to use your elbow, pretty much, yeah. If you just stay behind safely, then like this guy, he'll be like, ah, yeah. There's no vision, this, nah, nah, nah. Okay, right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes, yes, we are here to burn some kilowatt hours. Yes, we didn't come at the chit chat, no. <laughs> MC Hammer, he is too legit to quit. <laughs> yes, that's where I, I call my car MC Hammer. <laughs> yeah, you know why? Because you can't touch this. Yeah, some of you guys are probably too, uh, too young to understand. Oh, to, to even know who the heck who the heck is MC Hammer, huh? <laughs> Just Google him, guys. Yeah, he's a cool rapper, and he's black. Yes, everything that is black is nice. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. 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 Anticipate that that blue car will pull over. Yeah. You see. So after if if you've been driving for a while, uh, you will you can read what's gonna happen. You know. That's something that Tesla Autopilot eventually has to do also. It needs more experience so it, so it, can, so it can estimate or it can, it can extrapolate uh, results to figure out what's gonna happen for the next five, 10, 20 seconds even, just like chess players do, yeah. yeah. I will just stay on the left lane because I want to provoke you guys, yeah. It's always nice when you guys comment on my videos. I'm not sure what it does to the YouTube algorithm, but it seems like if people like it, comment it, then it might promote it to, to become a, a trending video. And but it also needs lots of views, so all of that stuff will help me get more money. Yes, so I can buy more big fat bratwurst and put it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, in the old days, I mean, before you guys have seen some rambling video where I just drive. I drive uh, Hamsedal mountain, you see nice, nice view, you know, all the mountains and I talk shit about something or I complain, <laughs> you guys are so mean, yeah, you call, you say mean things about my dog, Chihuahua, it's not a rat, it's a dog, yeah, yeah, so screw that shit, yeah, now we, we do the, we do the rambling in Deutschland, yes, <laughs> okay, hang on, so here is the Ratz, Ratzplatz, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, Dem Demjelan. So we have Ionity charger there, but I'm not done yet. So I will just keep hammering. Yeah, it's funny because um, uh, Germ the German language 
is somewhat similar to the Norwegian language, uh, but it's just that you just make everything sound much harder. So Norwegian is Rasteplatz, yeah, Rasteplatz, you know, uh, uh, resting area, Rasteplatz. In German it's Ratzplatz, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I uh, see uh, a little bit of wind. We have people just like, uh, sleeping in the left lane. Boom! Let's go, let's go. Let's see, should we do another 250? You guys want it? Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see how long it takes to hit 250. Yeah, it goes so fast. It accelerates so fast. Look at that. Ooh, ooh. Oh yeah, I'm gonna come now, I'm gonna come now. Oh, hell it, right there, right there, right there. Okay, a little bit, a little bit more down. Yes, yes. Okay, let's just camp. Let me camp on this lane. I don't want people to just, oh no, you know what, let's re <laughs> regen, 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 and see what's going on over there, yes. You have to look one kilometer ahead in front of you to see what's going on. And I can see that there was a caravan and then people are pulling to the left there, so. Ideally, you want to do, do shit like this, you want to do it um, at night, yes. I'm going to get so many hate comments now, oh, that is dangerous, oh no, 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 why are you doing this? Oh. Yeah, don't do it. Uh, yeah, so, um, are you guys done complaining? <laughs> no, I'm being super careful. Yeah. So again, if you have, if there are some uh, German followers in here, they can confirm that that was, what was again? That was good Deutsch Fahren. Yeah, Fahren, that means uh, right. Yeah. Trying to learn some uh, German uh, language here. So, um, okay. Uh, but let me see, how far should I drive before I turn around? Mm. Uh, uh. Should we just keep going? Yeah, we just keep going. Yeah, just keep going. It's fine. It's fine. Let's see. Uh, this place is so nice because it's actually in the nor northeast part of uh, Germany. And, and it has very low um, population density. So that means less cars. So, you know. If this was the A1 between Bremen and Hamburg, it would be super crowded, but not over here. No, 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 here it's fine, you see? Okay, but again, I don't want to drive too fast. So I'm cruising around, around 190-ish, 100, yeah, something like, oh, look at that traffic, oh, look at that traffic, oh. And this is even sun, oh, no, 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 are you sure you want to do that? No, let's, let me go first, yes, thank you, thank you. Yeah, most Germans, they are, they are skilled. Uh, high-speed drivers because they have this training you know um, when you want to take the driver's license you have to go through very extensive training and one of the one of the package or one of the things you have to learn about is to drive fast on the autobahn I mean correct me if I'm wrong but you know the the teacher will take you on the autobahn and actually instruct an 18 year old boy to drive 200 kilometers per hour <laughs> just so they will know how to handle things yes you need to handle the shaft correctly <laughs> yeah but um, so uh, oh what the heck uh, we have another sleeper yeah so um, you know skilled people they can they can detect that uh, objects from behind are coming fast Wait, uh, whatever that means yeah uh, yeah and then I've seen it when I when I come around come really fast then some people they are about to turn but then they cancel it they see that oh shit there's this guy here comes fast so then so yeah that's good that would usually not happen in other places in the world <laughs> yeah look at that oh lots of wind turbines or oh, generating clean electricity that goes to the chargers yes yeah so well, let's go uh, no no I can't drive too fast now uh, let's just let's do about 200 because uh, if I go 250, then I oh, see, see. Yes, um, was kind of anticipating that one. So it seems like well, no, no one has overtaken me yet. So where, where is that dude? You know, you guys always say, yeah, you know, there's always someone is always faster than you on the autobahn. Well, where is that someone? We haven't seen anyone faster than me yet. So. Uh, I guess we have to come here for a night. Well, I actually heard about it. It's those, it's those businessmen with RS7 or, or an M5 or whatever. Uh, they are hammering it in the morning. They, maybe they have to travel 200 kilometers 
uh, they're commuting, yeah. And they, they cruise at 250 uh, in the very early morning, maybe it's five, six in the morning. So, all right, next test, I have to try to spot those people. But in the daytime, like this, mm, nah, wow, wow, very little wind here. I wonder if this, these turbines are actually generating anything at all, because I heard that they have to run this, this idle mode where they actually use, they spend energy to spin the turbines. Uh, something about if they stand still too long, it will damage the wheel bearings or something. I don't know, I have no idea. Uh, I just, I don't know how these things work. I just need the juice from them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, how far should we drive? Uh, how many percent? 66 percent. Well, 66 percent. How long have we driving? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And so many guys have been calculating the oil. Oh, you, oh, you spend, you spend uh, 34 percent in uh, 20 minutes. Oh no, that's a lot. Yeah, but okay. How about next time? I can show you how I normally drive, which is to to cruise at around 150, 130 or something. Uh, if you if you drive in other most other countries, you know, you you're only allowed to cruise around 140, 130 anyway. So, but this this case here is actually a more more of a uh, well, maybe not maybe not corner case, but it's not the typical driver in a typical country. So. Mostly people will just cruise way slower than this. Yeah. Oh, I see that we have a little problem, which is that um, uh, the camera I'm recording, uh, the, the instrument cluster is going to run out in about four minutes. It will run out of memory. Uh, I should have bought a bigger memory in that phone. Okay, so anyway, let's, uh, let's turn around soon in four kilometers, all right? And then uh, go to the uh, Ionity charger. Like, can I do it in four minutes? Mm, probably not. Okay, uh, so what's gonna happen is that if the instrument cluster dies, then at least you won't see the speed, but the other, the front camera is still recording. So you will see that one. Uh, yeah, a new mistake for me. I should have cleared the memory before I started recording. Ah. Okay, so we have about four minutes left before it dies, uh, the instrument cluster. Okay, no big deal. You guys already seen the speed, so it's not like you have to sit and stare at the, the speedometer. Yeah, or actually, I could just stop the video once the instrument cluster dies. Yeah, depends what you guys want. But you know, normally, if this was a, was a live stream, I could just ask the live stream, and they'd be like, yeah, 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 just stop here or something. Yeah, but now, now it's more like a one-way. Oh, look at this! So much traffic. Yeah. So um. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, I can just take that uh, instrument cluster uh, out uh, in the end and you can just watch the nice German landscape. Hmm, let me see, 1.2 kilometers. Should I exit soon or should I? Uh, should I go? Nah, should I squeeze? Should I squeeze in? Ah, let's just ah, let's go. Let's be a good German and line up here, yes. So, um,. Uh, that was a good run, uh, 60 kilometers in one direction, hmm, okay, um, maybe I should go back to the supercharger, I haven't decided what to do, now let's, uh, because the Ionity charger, uh, oh, uh, uh, Ionity charger is faster, oh, yeah, that's, that's the thing, the Ionity charger is faster, as of now, but then, later this year, uh, they will upgrade the supercharger, and then suddenly the supercharger will be way faster than the Ionity charger. So let's see, we have to head Lübeck? What? You sure about that? We have to go this way, right? I think the navigation was lagging a little bit behind. Yeah, we have to go over here. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. And then, over here. Yeah, yeah, okay, I was, I was being a bad panda there. I should have used the, the turn signal. Yeah, you see the point? The see this point of using the turn signal? Because that truck was waiting for me. Uh, because he, he, he didn't know really if I was going to go straight or take the exit. And by using the turn signal, you tell other people that you will turn or you will do this or you will do that. Yeah. Oh, look at that. There seems to be some fast Audi. Finally, maybe there's someone faster than me. Let's try to chase them. Ah, we can not get chased. He's gonna, not going to do any childish move here. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just chill. And then hammer. Okay, let's go. Let's go. 
Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I can get used to this. Uh, about 200. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See, like, the van is like, should I have a tour? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yes. Sun <laughs> Gorno Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, full region here. Yeah, for you guys who don't know, regen means regenerative bre regenerative brakes, which is that you convert motion into electricity again, rather than wasting it on friction brakes. Oh, they have oh solar solar panel farmer over there. Nice, nice. All right, let's go, let's go. Okay. Mm. Yeah. How far is it to uh, uh, 19 kilometers to the Ionity charger? Mm, okay. But I have too much juice, you know. I don't want to juice up at the Ionity charger. Let's go back to the supercharger then. Uh, let me see. Navigate this one. Do I have enough? 56 kilometers? 60 percent? Yeah, I think so. That that would be fine. Yes, yes. So um, see, the problem is that I don't want to juice up now at the Ionity charger. It's, it's too early. Yeah. The thing about EVs you have to know is that batteries they. Um, they charge the fastest at the bottom so if you arrive at 10 percent or five percent and the juice up then you get the best speed towards the end like now if you want to fill up from 60 to 100 percent it will take forever so yeah most people they know this when they have evs is that try to charge when you're down to 10 percent or 20 percent even and then just charge to about 70 percent it's pointless to charge to 100 percent unless you have an e-tron e-tron is awesome because it charges really fast until 100 percent uh, but most other evs they uh they charge fast to about 70 percent but that's fine for example this car the model 3 i'm driving 70 percent on this one is uh, 350 kilometers uh, of range and that is plenty to get to the next charger let me see we have a little bit of headwind here uh, so yeah oh shit i see it now uh, the instrument cluster died okay so no big deal yeah so now we are driving without the instrument cluster that's fine you don't know the real speed but you can get uh you can get a sense of it by just watching the video anyway so okay well you know what there's one thing i could do is um, i can re if i find a place to pull over but we have to find a place a safe safe place to pull over then I can delete a file I know that I have a video file that is somewhat large so if I delete that one then I can start recording again and you will see the speed because I know you guys like it I see it when I live stream you guys be like hey can you put up the head of display <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have this app so I can show the speed so people people just want to look at the speed no matter if it's 90 kilometers per hour or 250 they just want to watch the speed yeah okay but anyway so let's see uh can we find something no yes no 49 kilometers uh Grimmen. let me check uh yeah that's hmm oh it's a oh, it's always always a dane a danish brother they tend to you know i'm not kidding the danes the <laughs> well i mean okay i i have observed that danish people they tend to sleep on the left lane <laughs> so, so, so I will not say anything. Uh, I just let other people comment. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye bye. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's see. Uh, but uh, we have to look for a rat, Ratzplatz. Yeah, I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly. Yeah. Okay, we have one guy over here. He's kind of fast, but. Will he recognize that I come from here? Yeah, you see, you see? Nice people, yes, yes. That's even some beefy car. Okay, do we have a Rats Plus or something? I don't want to pull over on the on the shoulder here. So unless it's really emergency, it's that your car breaks down, but you shouldn't pull over in the in the show oh, what the heck? Nine! Nine! Full region! Full region! I'm still regioning! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, maybe maybe his mirror is broken because he he has those bicycles blocking it. Yeah. 
All right, all right, let's go, let's go. But to be fair, I haven't bashed anyone, you know. Okay, maybe except for that Dane, yeah. Uh, those Danes are butt hurt right now, but, you know. Just being a nice uh, German panda over here. Yes, yes, I haven't pushed anyone. <laughs> I haven't pushed anyone this time. I haven't flashed on anyone, so that is quite an accomplish accomplishment for me. Yeah, and uh, now we go back, so uh, just go back to the supercharger. Uh, you know, I can just plug in at the supercharger, but I will show you another clip towards the end. Uh, so before you comment, please watch the whole video before you comment. I know it's really hard because it's a very long video, but I can at least tell you that the supercharger, or I mean, the 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 fast charging station charges faster than I can spend the energy. Yes, let that let that sink to you. Okay, so for example, I spend I've been driving for uh, well I'm down to 54 percent. You can't see it now. I'm I'm down to 54 percent. So I spend about half the battery, but I spend half an hour driving driving it down to half. And and those at those fast chargers, you can charge back. 50% in uh, how much was it again? 15 minutes or so. Yeah. <laughs> and and again, this is just norm. I mean, this is this is a mix of hammering and some. Yeah, you get stuck behind some slow drivers and stuff. Uh, so when when you drive normally, let's say you cruise at 100, 120, 130, then usually you have to drive for about two and a half hours before you have to charge and then you charge for half an hour so it's it's more like that you know you you charge up half an hour take a break just drain your lizard drain the the middle leg <laughs> the third leg <laughs> yeah, shake the third leg a little bit um, uh, you probably don't want to eat every three hours but uh, yeah, that's that's usually the cycle for most people they drive two and a half hours in Norway it's longer because you have lower speed limit then it's more like three hours or three and a half hours and then you charge half an hour and then you're off again on the road so you don't have to worry about oh no uh, i can only run uh, the the ev the car the the electro auto for uh, half an hour and then i have to charge half an hour no, it's not like that it's not like that yes just Get it in there, you know, it's not like that. <laughs> you see, we have been stuck behind this truck now, yeah, this is the reality. Yeah, and uh, not too many people are hammering it. So, I see all these comments, and mostly people who comment like, oh, you lose so much energy in so short time. Well, they, they really, they really, let me use all the pilot here. They really don't know how stuff works. So, oh wait, is that Ratzplatz? Or, I think it's a Ratzplatz. Yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. No, wait, no, it's, no, it's not. Or, uh, let's, let's go here anyway, okay, let's go here. Let's just exit. And uh, find a pla safe place to stop. Uh, wait a minute. Did you guys say overheat? No, wait, what the heck? What is this road? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it goes like, ah, uh, yeah, okay, I understand now, the, the layout, okay, yeah, 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 then, and that's nice, that's nice of the Germans to, to make a bridge, so you get over the other side, and then, oh, what's that, an Ionic, ooh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I get so excited when I see Ionic, is that electric, or is it the plug-in hybrid, no, oh, it's a hybrid, uh, well, but I know in nor northern Germany, okay, let me see, uh, are we going here, okay, in northern Germany, you you have those uh, plug-in hybrids and stuff. And, oh, wait! Can I get back there? This is very confusing. How? Oh yeah, I had to go on that road. Okay, okay, all right, right. Uh, let's let's just go here. Yeah, let's go here. Uh, no, what? Huh? Oh shit! Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. So, did you guys say overheating? because uh, we haven't overheat well okay there was maybe a little bit of power restrictions but um, uh, let me just do a little bit of uh, cleaning here okay let's go over here all right we're back yeah i delete i cleaned some shit and now we have <laughs> we have more space for, for oh, i had 1.5 uh, gig of uh, of crap i could have uh, cleared up this is bad uh, bad routine for me yeah okay let me see lubeck Berlin or are we gonna go Lübeck yeah 
Okay. I, 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 you're supposed to go first now, okay. Yeah, we have to go towards Lübeck. The other one is Berlin, yes. Uh, so, oh, no, let me pump the shop. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. All right. Always pump the shaft with the right hand, yeah. Okay, all right. Also, yeah, it's like this, yeah. You go you go on this ro road, which is one way. I think it's one way. Uh, and then you go back there, so that's nice. If it wasn't for this bridge and this, uh, this weird layout here, a little bit unusual for me. Uh, it's not very common in other places in Europe. Uh, but with this one, with this bridge, then, then uh, this Ratzplatz is accessible from both directions. Yeah, otherwise you will have to drive really far to get, get to the next intersection so you can go back again or something like that, yeah. So you get the point. Uh, but uh, anyway, we want to go back to the supercharger, right? So you guys are still watching? Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, most people, they already left the video. <laughs> they, just, they just watched the, b the beginning and, and then they start commenting. Ah, Tesla overheated. He couldn't, he couldn't withstand uh, too much uh, 262 kilometers per hour. <laughs> well, um... Do we have enough juice? Yeah, I think we have enough juice to try to go 262 again. Uh, let's, let's go. Okay, let's go, let's go. Um, I'm not sure if I want to go 262 right now. It's just too much traffic, so... Yeah. Yeah, let's just chill behind this Beamer. A bit so um what should i say uh it's a nice day for hammering sunday yeah okay let's go uh, i think most of this stretch is unrestricted uh, back to the supercharger so we are uh, 35 kilometers away from the supercharger yeah um it's a bit shaky sorry for that uh as i mentioned not much i can do about it so, let me see, yeah, I see way too much traffic. Uh, I will not even try 250 right now. Just two, 200 is okay, yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? I should say something about the spoiler, because now I have a spoiler on, yeah. And only the true followers, the people who are genuinely interested in my channel and in Tesla, they are still watching. So, you know, after I fitted the spoiler, I actually feel that the car is more stable at high speed. Uh, I'm not sure what the spoiler does. Uh, from what I heard people say, you know, the spoiler doesn't give you more downforce. Maybe slightly, but in order to get more downforce, you have to get a wing, like a model, the Model X wing, you know, that's a spoiler. Uh, even the Model S spoiler is just like this add-on. Yeah, this penis extender <laughs> in the back there <laughs> same with this one this one actually makes you know in in my case here yeah, this boiler pokes a little bit back there so it makes the car maybe one inch longer oh <laughs> you know that means a lot for an asian yeah so um no i think more like the spoiler in this case will make the car more stable at high speed it create it 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 smoothens out some turbulence uh, in the back then. You can ask yourself, why, why didn't Tesla fit spoiler in every Tesla then? Well, probably to save cost. I have no idea how much Tesla, I mean, how much it costs for Tesla for that spoiler, but oh, oh, oh we have a speed limit. Oh, okay, wow. Right. Um, it probably costs them, I mean, they, they sell it for, Achtung, oh, Achtung. This guy just decided to break hard, okay. Um, they sell them for 5,000 nook, roughly, about 500 euros, okay? Um, oh, it's only this bridge that it's, we have to go slow, okay? I'm not sure why... Oh, you know what? I've seen it before, that you have to go slow over some of the bridges. I wonder if it has something to do that if you hammer over the bridge at 250 kilometers per hour, it could create some shock wave uh, through the bridge that could damage it. Now, I, I don't know, maybe you guys know some bridge experts, yeah? Uh, but, um, okay, so tes Tesla sells them for 500 euros, but they, they probably cost only 500, I mean 50 euros to, I mean, how much is this? I had to do the conversion, they sell them for 500 euros. Maybe it costs them 
hundred euros. Yeah, and people they care about the cost of the, of the car. So, I mean, if you can shave off some cost of the car, then they will de definitely do it. Yeah, that could be it. And also, maybe maybe the car is more efficient without the spoiler, uh, but then, and then it makes it less stable. You know, I, don't, I don't know how how it is. Um, so most people they will not cruise at 200 anyway you know they some people will never cruise at 150 even so so we say that okay whatever uh we don't need that spoiler and except for some people who want it like me yeah because i'm a speed demon <laughs> then i need a spoiler yeah so enough about that i will test the spoiler some more uh, actually later today i will test it uh see if it does anything to, with the consumption or anything but I feel like the car is just rock stable now at high speed with the spoiler. It's like it, it was missing something, you know? It was probably more efficient before, but I trade trade efficiency for uh, stability at high speed. Yeah, I can do that. We have so many superchargers anywhere, anywhere. And also the Ionity chargers, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me see. Um, let's check that we have enough juice. Yeah, we have enough juice. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Uh, okay, so let's go, let's go. Let's go. Uh, I might be running out of battery again, uh, not on the car, but in the in the camcorder. I'm using a, a somewhat old camcorder, and uh, in the old, I mean, when it was new, I could get 90 minutes, or, or actually over 100 minutes of recording time uh, on the battery. And now it is reduced to about 60 minutes. So the battery has degraded, obviously. Uh, because there's no thermal management, you know, there's no BMS. Well, there's a BMS simple one, but there's no bricking protection or stuff like, like, like in an EV. So, so I just have to make sure that it doesn't, uh, the, the, the main camera doesn't. Oh shit, six minutes left. Oh no, let me do this. I have to close, close the screen. I usually double the, the lifetime then. Uh, oh, there's one, one other thing I could do, which is to plug in power, but that could cause some static noise so let's not do it yeah yeah oh no yeah that's the problem six minutes oh that dude i've been recording too long yeah no 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 what the heck huh uh, okay, yes, yeah, but uh, actually, you know, I, on a second thought, I don't have to start and stop at the supercharger. Yeah, I can just stop in the middle of nowhere. I mean, the video can just end here, pretty much. Yeah, so let's just record for, well, you know, um, I could plug in and see what happens. I have no idea what kind of noise we'll get if we plug it in. So let's just try it, okay? Just gonna do this one, okay, and then yeah, now we have all the pilots, then it frees up one hand, the other hand is doing something else. I'm gonna plug in, see what happens. Yeah, now it's it's charging. The camcorder is charging, it might cause some static noise. Uh, if that is the case, then we will end here. And I would say, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, talk to you later. Yeah, that's usually how I end it. And if I check the video afterwards and it's not uh, uh, noisy, then we are still recording. Then we are still recording, and then you guys are still watching. <laughs> so I just made an alternate ending. Yeah, this is weird shit going on. Yeah, that's how it works, you know. So I make two versions. Uh, I mean, I have I give room so I can edit out and end there, or I can keep going. Uh. Sunday drivers, uh, sleepers, yeah, um, well, cornfield to the right, mm. cornfield, it's where they make the corn syrup, and they make the sugar, yeah, that's the sugar, oh, that's the bad sugar, so it comes from here, sugar is bad for you, yeah, is that the Dane we saw earlier, that can't be, can't be that Dane, must be another Dane, 
Well, I don't remember. I can look at the full search and see if it was the same car. Because I went to the Ratzplatz and then back again. So that was many, many minutes, at least five minutes. Yeah. So, um, let me see, 14 kilometers to exit. Yeah, I have to watch out for the exit here, okay? It will come fast, just like me. <laughs> uh, I have to stop with those, those uh, sex jokes, man. Oh. I just uh, can't help it. It just uh, actually, I it just just happened to be a coincidence. Uh, and many times, it wasn't my intention. Uh, but it's just that almost everything you talk about can turn into a, a, that's what she said joke. You know? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I have forty percent. I'm doing a bad job here. I have forty percent state of charge left, and we are uh, only 15, 14 kilometers away from the supercharger. So. Ideally, you want to run it down to zero, but okay, no big deal. Uh, let's make a little bit of show here before the end. But of course, within the safety margins, yeah, we will not try to cause any accidents. We will not make it risky for anyone. So we will take it easy, make enough margins, and then hammer it. Yeah, let's see if we can still hit 200. Uh, 200 is easy. Even at 39%, uh, we can still cruise at 200. Yeah, like now. Okay, let's go. Yeah, now it's easy. You see, I, I spend very little energy maintaining that speed. See there, it's like I'm using uh, how much is that? 10%, 20% of the available power to maintain speed. And why is that? One, because the Model 3 is very efficient. Uh, it's very aerodynamic. It doesn't have a big ass grill like the fossil cars need. So uh, it needs less energy to maintain speed. And two, the electric motors are pretty efficient compared to fossil cars. So yeah, the only disadvantage for the EV is that it it still you know charges kind of slow compared to fossil cars. And two, um, it has uh, somewhat limited uh, energy compared to fossils. So, but eventually, if you get solid state batteries. Or some other stuff that oh I was just I was planning on camping on the left lane to just oh uh, come on region 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 yeah but when you have solid state batteries like Toyota claims I hope that is true then you have double capacity double charging speed uh, less costs uh, well, there are all, all the goodies yeah. So there will be, at one point, batteries will be so good that it will knock out fossil cars. I mean, batteries are already pretty good and charging, charging stations you know, are also pretty good. So it will fit most people's needs anyway. But it's just that it need, they need to be cheaper and they need to charge even faster and they need even more range. But when that happens, then it's game over for the fossil industry. Then nobody wants these fossil cars because they are bad in every way and especially in environment. They are so bad for the environment. Yeah, EVs will always be better than uh, fossil cars in, uh, in the, for the environment. So, all right, let me see. That's a very long video. So, um, for you guys who are still watching, you are the true Tesla Bjorn followers, <laughs> or you're just bored and you're pulling an Al Bundy while you're watching me. <laughs> yes, okay. So how many, how many people can actually uh, admit that you pull an Al Bundy while watching Tesla Bjorn's video? Maybe even in the dark when your wife is sleeping, then you, you watch my video. <laughs> yeah. You'll be like, oh yes, that Asian boy, oh, oh. Mm. His ass must be so smooth, yes, because he's Asian. Oh, here we are, here we are. okay, we are here. It's getting close, getting close. Yes, yes, it's, co it's coming. Helga, it's coming. Coming fast. Oh, let's do one last one. Oh, come on, come on, one last. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have to, I have to start regening. <laughs> I have to regen. Ooh, ooh. We have to regen. 1.5 kilometers to exit. Ooh. Grimmen, Ost. What? Ost means cheese, right? No, it's okay. Ost means east, yeah. So if if you know Norwegian, then you can also understand. Oh, okay, I didn't have to region that early, okay. Um, 
If you know Norwegian, then you will actually also understand man, many German words. So, which is a good thing for me. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Grimmen Ost. <laughs> the Grimmen cheese. Yeah. Oh, region, region, region. I forgot about this one. It's a bit uh, sharp. Okay. Ausfart. It means outfart. <laughs> well, that's good because you're supposed to fart outwards, not inwards. If you fart inward, I've seen that in fart. Uh, that was in Sweden or Denmark. Uh, and you have the middle fart, of course, but the in fart, I don't know how the heck, uh, what happens when you have an in fart. Um, something weird going on then. And the middle fart? Well, yeah. <laughs> maybe you guys have some explanation. This this red light here is weird. I have to watch it uh, from here, and it's really long. So, um, but you heard that there was a little bit of fan noise, but then it just disappeared. You can you can rewind about 10, 10 20 seconds uh, to hear the fan noise. So that was that was the cooling of the battery. Um, so what I've seen, you guys have also seen in the past, is that um, uh, the Model 3, it, you know, it has a different battery chemistry than uh, the Model S and X. Uh, so I don't know too much about it. Uh, there are probably experts here who know more about it. But um, uh, from what I heard, uh, the Model 3 battery has less internal resistance or less lower impedance. Impedance, right? In impedance. The independence. Wait. Um, and that means that when you are pulling uh, power, uh, high power from it, it means that you have less, less of that energy goes into heat because you have less resistance. Yeah. Uh, and also Tesla designed the, the casing and the, the battery cells and the modules to, to have better cooling. And, and Tesla uses those uh, cylindrical, cylindrical cells. I'm not sure if that was correct. I'm so bad in English. Uh, but they are cylinders, basically. Whereas uh, all the other EVs, they use pouch cells, the, those squared, uh, larger, uh, flat pouch cells, um, which can be harder to cool down. Uh, but with the cylinder design, uh, oh, can I? Is it going that way? You're going to go this way? I need to go over here. Yeah. Then you have the potential to cool down every cell better. Well, again, some expert might dis disagree with me, but uh, that's why you don't hear the fans too much. And the fans already stopped. <laughs> so this is so weird because when I've been driving uh, the Model X hard and the S also, then you will hear the fans go way longer and, brr, 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 and stuff. So, okay, let me just plug in and then see what happens now. Uh, anyway, so uh, the, the recording just stopped because I was about to change batteries and I forgot this stuff, stuff. But anyway, so for you guys who don't know, this is the car I've been driving. It's, um, it's a Tesla Model 3 performance, yes. And now we just have some, uh, some followers, yeah. Yeah, hey. <laughs> so uh, they just happened to uh, be here with the Tesla Model X and uh, they want to take a selfie with me. So um, yeah, I will do the usual stuff, uh, but anyway, I think that's it. Oh, by the way, okay, uh, just a moment. Uh, I'll just show you something. So, I'm gonna show you something. So, you know, always people always complain. Oh no, it takes forever to charge up the car. But you know, I feel like having some food now. I feel like going to the restroom. So, while I'm doing that, you see, we are charging up uh, at a very cheap price. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, uh, one third to one fourth of the price of gasoline. And you can see over there that. People, okay, not these people, they are Tesla only, but over there, over there, over there, we have fossil cars parked. Okay, maybe not there, but back there but at McDonald's, those cars are parked. Why are they parked there? Why are they not on the road run again? Why are they not on the road again? What, what did they do? They refuel and then they went to the McDonald's and they parked there. And then they're eating McDonald's, they're eating unhealthy uh, McDonald's food. Uh, so, so that means that these guys, they could have charged the car instead of just parked there for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that will be it. I will get lots of troll comments after that one. So I <laughs> hope you guys enjoy the video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.